Uh, so the first two years of her life, me and her literally set up in her lazy boy recliner. I remember it, it was gray and worn in by the time we were done with it because we slept together in an upright position for the first two years of her life. Her eating habits were just sporadic. Um, you, you've seen a lot of these issues with mood disorders and swings, even at a two-year-old's age. We took her to the pediatrician, we went to specialties, we had allergy tests done, we had adenoids taken out, we had tonsils taken out, we had tubes put in, um, we had medications that she was on, at least three different kinds, and it seemed to clear up the problem for a moment and then it came right back. And normally it came back a little bit more vicious. So I had to deal with it. What else do I do? So. Uh, at age four, after she's, she's had these surgeries from two to four, she stayed up at night. Um, she was coughing every two minutes um, due to allergies. She was sleepwalking. We had bedwetting. We had all these symptoms that you see almost to the T. Um, speech, difficulty, depression even. She would get so tired because she wasn't sleeping. She would go to sleep literally anywhere. Anywhere. And the scariest thing is that when she went to sleep, I had to, I still had to hold her. I still had that mold in me, like I'm scared. So I would just watch her sleep, like for hours through the night. Um, yes, I had to get up to go to work the next morning, and it was scary. But I was exhausted. My wife was scared. It was even after the surgery, I would still spend nights sleeping on the floor while she slept in the bed, just so I can hear her breathing, just so I could be there if something did happen. Um, ENT was telling me that, you know, something she'll grow out of. Pediatricians said the same thing. And I knew at that time that basically they had run out of answers. There was nothing you could really do for my little girl. There was no way you could help me. You've gone as far as, you, as, far as what you know from um, an educational medical standpoint. Yeah. You can almost know when people give up on something that they don't really know the answer. They say, well, you'll grow out of it. Oh, she'll, she'll get better. Give it two weeks, add this medication with it, and I promise you everything should work out. But, you know, but when those things don't add up and you start saying things to kind of cut yourself out of the picture because you don't know what's going on. So eventually, we heard about Healthy Start and to sit and learn about what it, what it can do and what all it, it helps with literally brought tears to my eyes. Um, I literally had to walk out and regather myself because I've already been through all those things with my own child. So the moment I had that information, um, I rushed back, we um, talked to the dentist, she started to have it correct, and so it took like a week for me to kind of break ground with her, but once she had it in, she's like, Daddy, I kept it in, look, look, you know? So she was excited about it, and then we started seeing some of the benefits, you know? Daddy went to bed, it was like, almost like the next night. It was nothing, um, and until then, until, you know, almost a year, two years later, we still have not had a bed wake. She still wears that appliance every night. Um, a lot of things as far as um, her behavior at home, her taking initiative to want to do things. I mean, all of these things that, that you see and that you would expect in a curious kid are all coming back. Eager to be outside, eager to be around people, talking, lively, um, no more bedwetting. We, we're off medications now. We're no longer on steroids, and I think that has a lot to do with height. But she's tall, and she's no longer on these medications and having these side effects. Allergies are huge. Not an issue anymore. You, it's amazing sometimes when you stand back and just look at an individual, if you can watch them grow, or, and just see what they become. You see what they come out of, you see what they went through. Um, and for her, it was just a life-changing event. She is happy. You know, we, we enjoy being around each other instead of being so exhausted that we don't know. We, you know, you, when you're exhausted, you tend to, either you're very argumentative, just things you're not right. You're not in a good mood. So, you know, you can imagine that in the morale of the household. So all that changed. I mean, everything changed. And to this day, you know, it, it changed my life as well as theirs. So with me knowing that and seeing what it did for my little girl, I have to share this information. I have to get this out. I have to tell people about it. When something changes your life, you normally act on it. And it normally makes you who you are going to become. Whatever I have to do, I want to be a part of this. I want to help people. I have to share my story. And people have to know. If you're out to save the world, you have to save everybody in it. I'm trying to save the world. Yeah, you can call it a superhero work because it's a superhero job.